NASA's New Horizons spacecraft has helped scientists to investigate a strange event near the frontier of the solar system, where particles from the sun interact with interstellar space. The New Horizons mission just obtained a tantalizing glimpse of a long-sought structure in the outer solar system, way out past Pluto, in the asteroid-filled Kuiper Belt. This long-sought structure at the edge of our solar system is known as the hydrogen wall. The hydrogen wall is approximately a hundred times further from the sun than Earth. This region is where uncharged hydrogen atoms from interstellar space interact with charged particles from the sun. The charged particles extend out from the sun in a bubble known as the heliosphere. It's hypothesized that hydrogen from interstellar space builds up at the heliopause, the point where the two collide. This generates a sort of wall that scatters the ultraviolet light that comes in. And according to NASA researchers, New Horizons, the probe that famously flew past Pluto in 2015, can now see that wall. New Horizons observes some more ultraviolet radiation, which is exactly what experts would expect from a galactic hydrogen wall. This wall was first detected almost 30 years ago by NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 mission, NASA's furthest traveling probe, and now New Horizons has found new evidence for it. Geophysical research letters published an article explaining the findings. The findings include regularly spaced great circle scans of the sky and focused observations along the downstream and upstream flow directions of interstellar hydrogen atoms. However, the researchers caution that the signal isn't proof that New Horizons or Voyager have spotted the hydrogen wall. The ultraviolet light recorded by all three probes could have come from a different source further away in the galaxy. Nevertheless, ALICE, the UV spectrometer on board the New Horizons that made this discovery, is far more sensitive than anything the Voyagers had on board before setting off on their mission beyond the solar system. It took readings from 2007 to 2017 and discovered a Lyman Alpha line, an ultraviolet glow produced when solar particles hit hydrogen atoms and scatter. This occurs as sunlight travels through the solar system. But there's a mysterious background source in the signal detected by New Horizons much farther away. This ultraviolet glow can be seen all around the solar system. However, in the heliopause, the hydrogen wall looks to be an additional source, resulting in an immense glow. There's more ultraviolet light beyond the wall than in front of it, indicating that the wall is scattering it. Alice is expected to function for 15 to 20 more years. New Horizons will continue to survey the sky for ultraviolet light twice a year and report what it sees back to Earth. After some time, New Horizons will cross the wall if it exists, reducing the amount of ultraviolet light it detects. That would add to the proof that the wall is there. Both Voyager 1 and 2 have passed the wall and are unable to make any further detections. The Voyager 1 spacecraft has already entered interstellar space. It passed through the heliopause in 2013 and continues to send signals back to Earth as it advances farther into the infinite cosmos. Voyager 2 lies in the heliosheath, a region of the solar system where the solar wind is slowed down by interstellar gas. It is projected to cross the heliopause before 2030. The New Horizons is just 50 times further away from the Sun than Earth, a distance it has traveled in around 15 years. It is just the fifth spacecraft to reach this great distance, following the legendary Voyagers 1 and 2 and their predecessors, Pioneers 10 and 11. In July 2015, it completed the first exploration of the Pluto system, followed by the farthest flyby in history and the first close-up study at a Kuiper Belt object named Ultima Thule on New Year's Day 2019. 
From its unique point of view in the Kuiper Belt, New Horizons is making observations that can't be made anyplace else. Even the stars appear different from the spacecraft's point of view. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos.